Today, we are bulk prepping seven days of pulled pork. From grocery shopping in bulk at Costco to walking you through the entire prep, storage, and cooking process, follow along to learn how prepping meals in advance can save you time and taste incredible. At the end of the video, we'll check out the macros and cost breakdown to show you how saving time and eating delicious food can still fit within your budget. Get ready to simplify your meal prepping and elevate your culinary game. Let's get started. I like to get a lot of the bulk prep items for this recipe at Costco just because you're going to get the best price for the most product there. And if you have any excess of the item after finishing a seven day prep, you can typically use the item again in another recipe so nothing goes to waste. So especially for pantry staples that are going to be good for a long period of time, I always like to pick these up at Costco. For prepping pulled pork, the major items that I buy at Costco are apple cider vinegar, which we only need about seven tablespoons of total for this seven day prep, but this is one of those items that I buy once and then have on hand for months to come whenever it's needed. If this ingredient is not something you'll be using in another prep, this might be an item you can buy somewhere else in a smaller quantity. Next, if you are prepping the full seven days, you are going to need three and a half cups of barbecue sauce, which is one of these containers from Costco, which comes in a two pack. I usually just stick the other one in my fridge and use as a regular condiment, and it gets used up pretty quickly. Another thing I like to buy in bulk at Costco that you definitely don't need to unless you're going to be making a lot of preps is chicken stock. We only need three and a half cups for the seven day prep, but this stock is so versatile, you can sip it, use it in homemade soups and ramen, and it can be used up fairly quickly in other recipes. Garlic powder and onion powder are two things I always buy at Costco in bulk because I use them in the majority of my recipes and I always, always use the entire container. Finally, the last item I always buy at Costco for this prep is pork shoulder, again because you get the best price for the most meat, and not only that, but you know that it is high quality. So for the things that you don't get at Costco for this prep, like possibly the brown sugar or paprika, salt, pepper, olive oil, you can pick these up at your local grocery store in much smaller quantities, or you might have enough of these on hand already at home. For most of my recipes, one prep bag contains four servings. With each recipe, you also get an individual grocery list, which has ingredients to prepare one four serving prep, and you also get a bulk grocery list, which has all ingredients for seven four serving preps. Check out my Patreon for all of my weekly recipes and grocery lists, and let's get to prepping. As always, to begin a prep, I always start by labeling my bags with the date. I have a handful of reusable bags that I typically use for this, but when I am prepping five to six weeks of meals at a time, I just don't have enough, so I do use Ziploc baggies as well. If you are using reusable silicone bags, the Arteza dry erase markers are my favorite since they clean off the easiest, or if you are using Ziploc baggies, Sharpies work just fine. When all of my bags are labeled, I like to set them up on my bag holders. These bag holders are hands down my favorite meal prep product because you can prep all of your meals all at the same time instead of individually prepping one bag at a time. And it overall cuts your prepping time down significantly. So if you already regularly meal prep or are interested in learning how to meal prep, this is a product that I will highly, highly recommend. These literally are the reason I am able to prep multiple weeks at a time. After our bags are set up, we can go ahead and start adding our ingredients. To each bag, we want to add half a cup of chicken stock, half a cup of barbecue sauce, one tablespoon apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon onion powder, one tablespoon garlic powder, one teaspoon paprika, 
a fourth teaspoon of black pepper, and you can always add more or less to taste here, half a tablespoon of olive oil, and half a cup of water. The final ingredient besides the pork shoulder is one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. After adding these ingredients, but before adding the meat, I like to give each bag a quick whisk to break up any clumps of seasonings that might be stuck together. The final ingredient in this prep is the pork shoulder. I cut the pork shoulder into large pieces and use my scale to add about two pounds of pork to each bag. If you don't have a scale but are either already prepping in bulk or are planning to start prepping in bulk, I highly recommend picking up a scale since it makes dividing your meat quicker and much more accurate, and they also aren't expensive so you can pick up a cheap one that will still get the job done. After all ingredients are added, take each bag and squish the contents together to thoroughly combine and then lay flat to get all of the air bubbles out. And that is it, you can transfer these to your freezer and after freezing solid, these are good in your freezer for about three months. You can thaw your freezer prep either the day before cooking the meal by removing from the freezer and thawing overnight in your fridge, or you can thaw it on the day of cooking by submerging the prep in room temp water. My favorite way to cook this prep is by using my instant pot, but you can also use a crock pot on the low setting for eight hours or place in a pot on your stove covered over low heat for a few hours until your meat reaches an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're using an instant pot, dump the prep into your pot, set the lid to seal, and set your instant pot to high pressure for 38 minutes. It'll take your Instant Pot about 10 minutes to come to pressure and 38 minutes to cook, so during this chunk of time, I like to make coleslaw. This is definitely an optional step or you can buy it pre-made at the store, but I like to make mine using carrots, purple and green cabbage, mayo, white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, celery seed, pepper, salt, and a little bit of sugar. Mix everything together and set aside for plating. When the pulled pork is almost finished cooking, I prepare a mixture of two tablespoons cornstarch to two tablespoons water. Mix it together and set aside to use immediately after the Instant Pot is finished cooking. When your Instant Pot time is up, do a quick release to let the steam out. Remove the pork, set the Instant Pot to saute, and then whisk in the cornstarch mixture. Keep whisking until your sauce thickens, which should happen pretty quickly. Turn off your heat, add the pork back in, and shred the pork with your whisk. To plate your dish, scoop your saucy, shredded pulled pork onto a bun and top with the homemade coleslaw. If you want to add in a side or two here, my favorite addition to this meal is mac and cheese and my kids' favorite side to add are cucumbers. And that is it. In under an hour of total cook time and about 10 minutes of actual work, this filling, delicious, perfect for summer dinner is ready to eat. This pulled pork meal prep isn't just savory and delicious, it is a lifesaver for anyone looking to optimize their time with a hearty meal to fuel their day clocking in at 755 calories per serving and packed with 44 grams of protein, it supports your energy levels and keeps you feeling satisfied. With 38 grams of fat for lasting energy and 57 grams of carbs, this pulled pork sandwich is a balanced choice that caters to your nutritional needs while keeping mealtime simple and delicious. With all the macros out of the way, let's break down how much it costs to make one prep of pulled pork and what that cost comes to per serving. 
As always, the left side of the table lists the ingredients for the recipe, the cost unit on the right is how much of the item is needed for each prep, and the middle column is the cost of the ingredient per the amount needed for each prep. When we add all of this together, the cost to prepare one prep bag or four servings of the pulled pork comes to $5.24. Per serving, this is only $1.30 per person. And that is it. Thank you so much for joining me this week for grocery shopping, prepping, and cooking our pulled pork, all while considering the macros and expenses. I hope the breakdown of this process has been informative and most importantly, motivating for your own meal prep adventures. For more delicious meal prep recipes on a budget, along with more helpful tips and tricks, remember to subscribe and until next time, happy prepping.